Cognitive Resource Theory of Leadership The Cognitive Resource Theory states, the influence of the leader's resources, on his reaction to stress. The cognitive resources of a leader are experience, intelligence, competence, and task-relevant knowledge. Stress is common in resource-managing situations, and this cognitive theory emphasizes how intelligence and experience are each best under different stress situations. This theory is the reconceptualization of the Fiedler model. In the early 1990s, the original model of Fiedler was reconceptualized by Fiedler and his associate Joe Garcia, as cognitive resource theory. In this model, the focus has been laid on the role of stress as a form of situational unfavorableness and how a leader's intelligence and experience influence his reaction to stress. Cognition is the mental action or process of acquiring knowledge and understanding, through thought, experience, and the senses. Good examples of cognition are learning. Another example, is our ability to reason through logic. Cognitive processes use existing knowledge, and generate new knowledge. Cognitive processes are analyzed from different perspectives, within different contexts like psychiatry, psychology, education, philosophy, and computer science. The cognitive resources of a leader refer to their experience, intelligence, competence, and task-relevant knowledge. When a leader is better in cognitive abilities, like intelligence, planning, and decision-making, he must follow a directive approach. Directive approach will result in improving the overall performance of the team. He needs to communicate to the group what to do, to ensure his plans and decisions are implemented, thereby improving the overall performance of the group. When the group and the people on the group are better than the leader in cognitive abilities, then the leader should choose a non-directive approach. He should seek ideas from the group and identify the best approach and idea and move ahead with the same. A leader's cognitive ability contributes to the performance of the team only when the leader uses the directive leadership style. Stress has a direct correlation with intelligence and decision quality. When there is a low stress, then intelligence is fully functional and makes an optimal contribution. When there is high stress, natural intelligence does not make any difference, but may also have a negative effect. A leader's abilities will contribute to group performance only when group members are supportive of the leader and his goals. In such a situation leaders' directions can be easily followed and implemented. The intellectual abilities and intelligence of the leader can only be utilized efficiently in difficult, cognitively demanding tasks. Based on this theory, for a given situation, depending on the level of the stress, leaders can decide on whether to rely on intelligence or on experience. For low stress situations, one should rely on intelligence. However, for high stress situations, one should rely on experience. In high stress situations, leaders who are more experienced will produce more quality results. In high stress situations, rational solutions are generally not available, and hence intelligence will not be able to support the decision making process. Whereas previous experience can allow the leader to react. All product names, logos, and brands are property of their respective owners. All company, product and service names used in this course are for identification purposes only. Use of these names, logos, and brands does not imply endorsement. Course uses royalty free stock images and music. Thank you for watching or downloading our training material. If you need copies of this material for corporate training or commercial use, please contact info at technofunk.com for further details. To watch our free videos, visit us at www.youtube.com/technofunk.